have a really productive and efficient meeting, you're going to need to one, have an event you can create in Google Calendar and then share that event with other people. Uh, you'll be able to get RSVPs back, know who's attending, who's not attending. Uh, you can then set it up where they can get updates for those events. And then that way they can be uh, kept up to speed about when things are actually happening. Uh, additionally, you can then attach things to that event. So what we're going to do today is I made a doc that is the agenda for that event. That way those people could see that immediately. During the meeting, we can then also type in that doc and keep a running record of things that were said. Uh, additionally, I'll show you where the Google video hangout spot is on that event. That way you can also set up one of those. That way if people can't attend because they're not physically going to be there, they'll be able to attend by Google Hangout instead, which you can check uh, the Google Hangout video just to kind of make sure you know how to set that up. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my calendar and then I'm going to just zoom in on today. So if I wanted to start a meeting for five o'clock, I'm just going to click in that five o'clock spot and it's going to give me the quick ad. But what I'm going to do is go directly into the edit event and that way I can make all the different changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the meeting. Uh, my meeting is all about the Dumbledore's army meeting. So I'm going to do DA meeting. It starts at five. I can click here and choose any day that it could occur. If I click in the 5 p.m. slot, I can pick times. Same thing with ending them. And then I can also pick an end date because you can have meetings or events last for multiple days. All day and repeat might be really important, especially for repeating if you have something that is going to happen every month, every week, every day, you could click repeat and then choose from a bunch of different options there. Uh, I'm, and then for location, I'm going to put leaky cauldron, which is apparently a real place in Orlando, Florida, assuming it's Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And then I can then choose the calendar. So I'm going to keep this. These are all my calendars. I'm going to keep this on my main calendar. That is the Brad McCormick calendar. And here I can put in meeting, uh, recruit recruitment meeting and practice so this way anybody that gets the, the the event share with them would see what that is uh, above this is where it has the video call where it automatically attaches this so you could remove it if you want some people get confused when they get a meeting and it has that video hangout already there it will create it automatically that you could use right when the meeting starts uh, so if you know that there are people that aren't going to be able to be there in person, might want to participate, you could leave that there. Otherwise, you could remove it if you don't really want it to confuse people. Below the description is the ad attachment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click ad attachment because I previously made a sample meeting agenda for this Dumbledore's Army meeting. So I will open this up and it will attach itself to here. So that way, when they get the attachment, they can see this in the event, they can click on it, and it will open up into that working live document that has the agenda on it. And then when you're actually working in, you can update this, and that way it's constantly being updated. You don't have to send an email each time you want to change the agenda. And then you can also write on this while it's actually happening the, during the meeting to keep kind of meeting minutes. Over to the right is where you can type in people's names where I can then add them as a guest, and then they get an invitation sent to them saying, would you like to attend this event or not? Uh, down here, you can change uh, some different things where you can let guests modify the event. So if you have this person kind of being an owner of this event with you, a collaborator with you, you can let them modify any of the event details, and then you can also allow them to invite other guests and see the guest list. So if you want people to be able to invite people, you should leave that checked on. Otherwise, you could check that off and now people would not be allowed to invite. And then also, if you want to keep the guest, like, guest list secret, you don't want people to know, you can click that off as well. So that way people wouldn't be able to see it. And then all you would have to do is hit save. This will then add to your calendar and it will add to uh, give them an email, they'll be able to respond yes or no. You'll get a response back saying whether or not they said yes or no. And then if they say yes, this event will be added to their calendar as well.